right, uh, Shalom, Shalom, Makim, Shabbat Shalom. We all like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. And we want to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and Rule and Teeth Well. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully led throughout the four winds, pushing this truth, the sincerity, and the diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Lord Yah from the Great Millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana Camp, coming back again with another lesson through the Spirit and Power Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And as always, you know, Lord, will this uh, lesson be edified to the Lord's elect? You know, and I basically just want to get into, you know, a topic, you know, ultimately how this is, uh, America is our, uh, it's just a pit stop, man, all right? America is just a pit stop, you know? And ultimately, you know, the last kingdom that, uh, you know, the Negroes, Latinos, and Natives are going to be subject, all right, to being oppressed, you know, uh, uh, chiefly under Esau Edom, which is the self-proclaimed white man. All right, and also in the hands of the heathen as well, you know, because everyone has uh, ultimately had their fair share, all right, with having the Israelites being captive, all right. But it was prophesied that what, you know, the Heavenly Father would raise up his men in the latter days, okay, so that we could ultimately harp and sing this song, all right, which is just true, all right, Pe preaching the uh, good tidings to the meek, you know, as it speaks about in the book of Matthew's uh, fifth chapter, man, the kingdom of heaven is for the meek. All right, the lowly and the ones that uh, ultimately, you know, uh, the world doesn't believe that they're going to be the next rulers. Okay, so let's jump right into it. This is Jeremiah 29 and uh, 11. And Lord willing, you know, this be edifying, man, to the Lord's elect. All right, comforting as well. All right, because that's exactly what, you know, and the reason why these epistles and the scriptures were left for us. Okay, so that we can ultimately have that uh, that hope in Yahweh Shai. All right, so this is Jeremiah 29 and 11. It says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Most High Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. You see? And, you know, once, you know, from the moment we have ultimately uh, been brought back into the fold and, you know, being granted their repentance, all right, by way of the scriptures, you know, and being able to understand the prophecies, all right, and seeing the things that will take place, all right, we understand that Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai has our best interests. All right, as it speaks about in the book of Malachi, you know, concerning, you know, the two thirds of our nation, our nation believes that the Heavenly Father doesn't give two shits about us, you know, because of our condition, right? But ultimately, hey, that's the Heavenly Father dealing with us as sons, man. All right, if you have your children and they get out of line or out of pocket, right? You're going to ultimately what, uh, chasten them, all right? According to uh, uh, the way that pleases you, that's ultimately going to, that's, that's going to be fit for them to what, learn a lesson. All right, so that's what ultimately took place with our nation, you know? That's what took place with our nation, the Heavenly Father dealing with us, you know, how he wanted to so that what? We can learn the difference between lightness, uh, light and darkness, you know? And now we've been pulled from that darkness into the marvelous light, man, you know? But yet our nation believes that what? There isn't a God, right? Well, what is it the books of uh, Psalms tell us, you know? It says the fool said in his heart that there is no God. And ultimately, that's Esau Edom, but what he ultimately, you know, he puts that vibration upon our nation as well, you know? But it says, well, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Most High Yahweh, because what? We are that peculiar nation, all right? Let me get that in the book of, uh, in Apocrypha. It speaks about, uh, let me get it real quick. This is uh, 2nd Edges chapter 5 and uh, verse 23. It says, And said, O Lord, that bears rule of every wood of the earth and of all of the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee only one vine. Right? And that's us. All right? And when you go to the book of Mark, it basically lets it be known, you know, that uh, uh, he's seen the trees as men. You know? We're that chosen vine of Yahweh by Shimei al Shah. All right? Let me get it. Verse 27, it says, And among all the multitudes of people, thou hast got indeed one people. And unto this people whom thou lovest, thou hast gave us a law that is approved of all. And you see? So this is ultimately what separates the, 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 the precious and, and beautiful and royal nation of Israel from everyone else. You know, us being given the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, the Lord stamping his name, you know, upon us, man. You know, deeming us to be uh, the princes of the power, you know. So that's why what the Lord says, what he has an expected end for us, man. All right. Let's see. Real quick. 
We read in the NLT. It says, For I know the plans that I have for you, says the, the Most High Yahweh. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. You see? And and what is the uh what is our future consist of, man? You know? Reaping the benefits of the kingdom, the, the promises, the covenants, the glory, you know, being rulers over the earth, being able to be partakers of, of the earth in its fullness, you know, that as well, okay? But that's ultimately going to come with what? The Lord's determination, okay? That's going to come with the Lord's determination. This is Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. It says, declare the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Say, see, not yet done. But what? Ultimately, it's going to happen. It says, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure, man. And what's the pleasure of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai? Let's get it real quick. Going to the Lord's determination, man. All right? And to what? Deliver Israel with a strong and mighty hand. You see? This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and, uh, and uh, verse 8. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Most High Yahweh. Right? We can't take, you know, things into our own matters, man. The only thing that we can do is constantly push this, push this truth, you know, keep our faith, trust, hope in Yahweh by Shemi al -Shai, you know, till the end, right? It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Most High Yahweh. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, man. And that's ultimately what's coming to the heathen. Okay? The Lord's indignation and his fury is gonna be poured out upon them. Alright. It says, Even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with, with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people of pure language that they may call upon the name of the Most High Yahweh to serve him with one consent. You know, and ultimately we've started that process. You know, we've started that process because what Yahweh Hashem Yahshai have given us, you know, the names, man. The names to call upon, you know, being a part of that, that strong tower, okay? Watching the prophecies, giving, giving out the uh, counsel, the correction, the instruction, you know, the manners of how we should walk. Because what, man? This present land that we live in, right? The judgment is slack in it. Let me get that real quick. Uh, this is Habakkuk chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 3. And I'm going to start at 2, you know? Because we got to keep in mind, man, just because, you know, uh, uh, situations, all right, the things that Jake might be going through, it's a, a grievous, or, you know, it might seem grievous, right? The, the book of Romans will tell us that the things that we suffer are not worthy to be compared with the things which we shall receive, you know? So, know what, man? We can't be uh, found uh, faint-hearted, all right? So, this is uh, Habakkuk 1 and 2. It says, O Lord, o Lord Yahweh, how long shall I cry and thought will not hear? Hey, man, the Lord is hearing our prayers now, all right? He's hearing us daily, all right? Although it might feel like it sometimes, you know, when you catch when you're catching that hell, you know, it says, even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou will not save. Why dost thou shew me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, right? And that's why we're, uh, uh, as it speaks about in Ezekiel the ninth chapter, you know, we're the men that's on a uh, sign and crime for the abomination that's being done in the midst of man. And the Lord brings forth what that judgment every morning, you know, all day, every day, throughout the night. You know, the Lord is not slack. Okay. It says, uh, for spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that rise up strife and contention. Therefore, the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth. You see? For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeded, you know? And that's because the wicked, as it speaks about in Job 9 and 24, man, you know, the, the, the wicked were given uh, the chance to bear rule right now over us as punishment, you know? But Yahweh Shem is soon to take these devils up out of their seat, man, and that's not going to be nothing to stop it, okay? Uh, verse 5, it says, Behold, 
ye among the heathen in regard and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe, though it be told you, man. Because what? Yahweh Shimei is soon to perform great miraculous works for us, man. You know? See, Jake got to get out of that mindset of, uh, you know, uh, believing that, uh, uh, trying to put uh, the Lord into a box or putting a cap on the Lord. No, man. Nothing is impossible for the power that we serve. You know, when we get to reading, you know, these accounts, you know, in the Acts, right? The things which uh, our Heavenly Father performed and did, you know, for, for the men of old, right? Hey, that, that was done out of what? Uh, their uh, soul belief and their uh, faith, man, you know, and their trust. Even when their backs were to the, uh, to the wall, man, you know, they were found right unashamed. Let me get that real quick, you know? See, we got to have that confidence in Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. All right, we're in the latter, we're in the latter times of our captivity, all right? And before, hey, before we know it, man, hey, the Lord is going to turn it, all right? As it speaks about in the book of Lamentations 4.22, you know, what uh, the captivity, all right, is what soon to be accomplished, you know? Let me get this real quick in the book of, uh, I believe it's Philippians with Apostle Paul. Yep, this is uh, Philippians uh, chapter 1 and verse 2. Man, you know what? I'm going to start verse 19. It says, For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Yahweh Shahamashiach. According to my earnest expectation, right? We have an expected end. Okay? We expect, hey, we're expecting big things, you know, that, uh, for Yahweh Shahamashiach to come through for us, man. All right? It says what, what what might be impossible with man is what? Possible with Yahweh Shimei Shah in the book of Luke. Okay? It says, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. Right? Hey, these prophecies are not going to fail us, man. All right? It says, but that with all boldness. So we got to be bold in the confidence, you know, uh, that we have towards Yahweh Shimei Shah. It says, as always. Right? So all the time, man, when it's good days, when it's bad days, they constantly have an earnest expectation, okay? Because what, daily we, we read these scriptures, man. Daily, you know, uh, we're, we're found in the spirit, okay? Daily we're catching hell. But what, what what's the key factor of the comfort, right? The scriptures. That's what we run to, man, all right? It says, so now also the Mashiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by my life, so like whether it be by life or by death, you see? So no matter what, nothing is supposed to stop us, all right, from keeping that hope, man. All right? And striving for the truth until death, man. Okay? Because no matter what, the the, uh, the words of Yahweh Hashim Yashah are sure. Okay? That kingdom is coming. The destruction is coming. You know? As it speaks about in the book of Habakkuk 2, you know, we always reference that one as well. You know, the vision are set for an appointed time. Well, that appointed time goes to you know, the time that the Heavenly Father is pleased with, you know. Real quick. Real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 55 and 12. It says, for ye shall go out with joy. This is our end, you know. It says, for ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. You see? Hey, beautiful things await us, man, in the spirit. You know? We just got to see it through. Okay? We got to see it through, man. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yashai never forsook us, man. You know? He never forsook us. This is Jeremiah 3 and 12. It says, go and proclaim these words toward the north. Hey, because the main bulk of us are ultimately, uh, right? The main bulk of us are scattered here in, a, in North America, okay? And say, return thou backsliding Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, man. Said the Most High Yahweh, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. You see? Because, hey, man, the world is soon to be a uh, 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 face with the anger of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know? These people believe that, oh, they're ready to, to have the Heavenly uh, Father sing Yahweh Shai, and they're ready to meet him and things of that nature. But, hey, man, truth be told, you're not, okay? 
you people are not ready for the return of, of, of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And it tells us that in the book of Joel that what? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You see? You're going to have to deal with uh, 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 the weather conditions. You know, the uh, thunder, lightning striking. The uh, plagues being sent. Famine. The smell of death in the air. You know? That's what's coming. And our nation, right? The state of our nation today, they get so caught up with everyday life, man. You know, uh, being entangled with the cares and the affairs of this present life. You know, thinking that they have all the time in the world. But what? Hey, the day of the Lord coming like a thief in the night. All right. It says, and I will call and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, said the Most High Yahweh, and I will not keep anger forever. Right. As it speaks about in Hosea 5 and 15. Until we acknowledge our faults, you know, which we've done, you know, and we got to continue to repent, you know, we got to continue to uh, be found blameless and without spot. All right. Let me see real quick. Yeah, Habakkuk 1 and 5, it says, Behold, ye among the heathen, you see, in regard and wonder marvelously. And this proves here, right, that the, the heathen don't get no don't get no salvation. You know, it says, Behold, ye among the heathen. All right. It says, In regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe, though it be told you. You see? Because the things that Yahweh Shem is soon to do for us. You know, it's, it, hey man, it's gonna it's gonna uh, uh, overthrow all the deliverance, man. You know that have ever took place. You know, the Lord is coming with a, a mighty hand. You know, just for us. You know, let me get this real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter thirty-three, verse fourteen. It says, "Behold, the days come," said the Most High Yahweh, "that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house." Of Israel and to the house of Judah. In those days, in those days at that time will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah shall be saved. <laughs> in those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely, man. Right? Going into the book of Hosea. Okay, let's get there real quick. What you hey, what you see uh playing out a port, right? Uh, uh, uh right before your eyes, your very eyes, man. The Lord bringing the north, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom together, right? Real quick. This is the book of Hosea chapter 1, and I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, "But I I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Most High Yahweh their power, and will not save them by bow, nor sword, nor battle, by horses, nor by men. You see, Yahweh Shai is gonna be the uh, that to deliver us, man. All right, he's gonna come with the host of the, uh, the armies, the angels. You know, the chairs are gonna be there pulling up. You know, it says uh, verse eight. Now when she had conceit, when she had weaned. Larohama, La she conceived and bare a son, then said, Power, call his name Lohamai, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your power. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place wherein it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power, man. All right? As it speaks about in the book of Romans, let me get there real quick. And that's the moment we're all waiting for, you know. When it's made manifest exactly who we are, you know. This is Romans chapter 8 and uh, 8. Earnest expectation, man. Romans 8 and 19. And you know what? I'm going to start at 18. Man, it's like, let me start off a little bit. Let me start at 17. All right, it says, and if children, then heirs. Heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, we may be also glorified together. Right? 
For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. You know, the Lord is going to have that light shine through us. All right, he's going to raise us up. Okay. Verse 19, it says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Let me get that in the NLT. It says, For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when the Most High will reveal who his children really are, man. You know? And it's going to be the ones which everyone... Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get what the scriptures say. Right? It's going to be the ones which uh, 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 are least expected. All right? Which shows how great of a fall we took. All right? Because no nation upon the planet can see our nation ruling. You know? But what, man? Hey, how about Shimei Shai got another thing coming for you, heathen? Right? This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. And verse 2, the point is in, I get it. This is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right here. So far beyond all they look for. You see? They're not expecting us to be the ones to, you know, uh, have the names of Yahweh Shimei Shai and be found worthy before him. Right? Based off of uh, us being in the world and how we used to conduct ourselves, right? But what, all, all that has ultimately been driven away. You know, that's been done away with and answered for, okay? It says, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor, man. You see? And that's why we shouldn't be moved you know, with the things and the so-called, you know, the validation of this present life, you know, the trends. We don't care about none of this shit, man. Scriptures speak about how the fashion of this world passes away, you know? And we will uh, cast out those the wicked garments and put upon the beautiful ones again, all right? We'll find rehearsing the righteous acts, all right? Keeping our uh, uh, customs, man, all right? And, and being the kings and the priests, right, to the best of our ability that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai created us to be you know verse 5 it says how is he numbered among the children of the most high and this is ultimately what's going to be said when it's revealed you know how the hell did they make it you know what, what's so special about them you know it says and his lot is among the saints man wherefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness hath not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us, you know? And what's beautiful about that is, you know, these things were all set in stone before anything was created. All right? It speaks about in the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, going into how the elect were foreordained, you know? Another thing that was foreordained was our salvation, man, you know? Hey, what does scripture say? Uh, Israel shall not be confounded world without end, you see? So in every lifetime, man, the Lord had that remnant, you know, fasting, okay? Let me get this other one real quick. This is the book of 1 John, I believe is, uh, yep, chapter 3. It says, Behold, 1 John 3 and 1, Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not, man. See, we're not from this place. You know, we're just here, you know, uh, 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 like I opened up with, a pit stop, right? This is the last time for us to get everything right, man, you know? To uh, actually, you know, fully repent, confess our faults, have that contrite spirit, and really be sorrowful for the things which we've done, you know? Verse 2, it says, Beloved, now are we the sons, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, Right? But we know that when he shall appear, speaking of Yahweh Shai, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Right? And Lord willing, man, we be of the elect, man. You know? Lord willing, you know, these epistles that have, you know, been written and uh, delivered unto us, you know, through the spirit of power Yahweh Shimei Shai, Lord willing, we be the uh, first fruits and partakers, you know, of what the scripture speaks about the elect being partakers of, man. You know, we desire to be caught up in the heavens, man, 
where Yahweh Shah and depart away from this place because what? This is not our home, man. But what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is coming with a mighty hand to save, you know? Says what? Uh, it's my, let me get that. It's my hand, uh, I believe it's in the book of Isaiah. I believe it's Isaiah. Lord willing it is. If not, I'll search it up. Save. Real quick. Yep, Isaiah 59 and 1. It says, Behold, the most high Yahweh's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Right? See? That's straight to the point. You know, the Lord's hand is not short to where he can't save, man. Hey, uh, he ultimately, you know, has every uh, situation, you know, the, uh, how we say that, light of the tunnel. All of that's already prepared, man. You know, even when it comes to the salvation, you know, everything is already written. And we understand that it's going to go according to the way which the Heavenly Father finds uh, uh, pleasure in it. You know, it says, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear, man. You know, so as we continue this race. What we have to do is continue to work, call upon Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, right? Hey, be brotherly, deal with the men that's amongst you, right? Like you would be dealing with Yahweh Shah, man, because his spirit is on those men, all right? Be found a hey, charitable, be found studying, be uh, be studious, right? And then executing everything that's need to, that, that needs to be done, right? Prior to uh, that day that they uh, uh, coming, you know, uh, to pass, man. All right, because it's, as it speaks about in the book of Romans, right? Let me get it. Let me get it real quick. Romans 13 and 11. This is Romans chapter. Yeah, this is Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time that now it is a high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe, man. So we believe. Uh, 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 you know, based off the prophecies and seeing how things are uh, uh, coming to pass and unfolding, you know, that salvation is near. But guess what? It's nearer than that. It's closer than that, you know? So what, man? We cannot stop uh, uh, fighting, man. Neither stop uh, putting the work in, you know? So, yeah, man, America is just a pit stop. Don't get caught up, you know, with everyday life, you know, and being complacent and putting off, you know, because at the end of the day, man, every day is being recorded, you know? And every day, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai gives us that room to fight, you know? Another day to fight, man, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, get closer and closer to, you know, receiving that crown, all right? And that salvation from the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You know, so I can, Lord willing, uh, this lesson was edifying and comforting as well in the spirit. I uh, like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash, Double Line City Elders and the Apostles of Great Millstone, they rule to teach well. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four ways, pushing his truth and sincerity and the diligence. Till next time, shalom.